Hey guys, today we're going to start lesson six of your equivalent fractions. So this first part we're going to be using unit rates. We're going to determine if each pair of rates is equivalent and then explain our reason. So we're going to set it up just like we've done before as fractions. So we have 36 t-shirts. So it's in three boxes, so three boxes are going to go on bottom. Then we're going to set up this other one. We have 60 t-shirts. And then in six boxes. Okay, this one's a pretty easy one to determine if it's equivalent or not. Because all we have to do is say, how do I get from here to here? To get from 3 to 6, we're going to be multiplying by 2. And then on the top, can we, if we multiply by 2, would we get 60? Is 36 times 2, 60? No, it is not. So this one is not equivalent. And yes, you do have to write not equivalent out. The other way that you could do it is find the unit rate. So remember to find the unit rate. We divide by the bottom number. So we would be dividing by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 36 divided by 3 is 12. So we have 12 over 1 for this one. Over here we would be looking at 60 and 6. To get the unit rate we divide by the bottom number. So we're dividing by 6. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. And then 60 divided by 6 is 10. Let me move that on down here so you can look. Yeah. 12 over 1 and 10 over 1 are not the same number, so it is not equivalent. At any time, if this is going too fast, please raise your hand and ask the sub to please stop it. Let's look at the next one. We have 42 flowers and 7 bases. So 42 flowers over 7 bases. To do the unit rate, we divide by the bottom number. So 7 divided by 7 is 1. 42 divided by 7 is 6. Let's set up the next one. We have 54 flowers. over 9 bases. Unit rate, you divide by the bottom number. So we get 1 on bottom. 54 divided by 9 is 6. Because this unit rate and this unit rate are the same, then yes, they are equivalent. So we're going to write yes, equivalent. Okay, this next one says Marsha made 10 bracelets for five friends. So we're going to put 10 bracelets on top. And then five friends on the bottom. It's a unit rate, so we're dividing by the bottom number. So we'll get one on the bottom. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So that's the unit rate of the first one. And then Jen made 12 bracelets for four friends. So we have 12 bracelets. Over four friends. We divide by the bottom number since it's a unit rate and we get one. 12 divided by four is three. So if we look at the unit rates, we have two over one and 3 over 1. Are those equivalent numbers? No, they are not. So we're going to write not equivalent. Okay, let's look at the bottom. 
we're going to be using equivalent fractions in this part. So if a unit rate is not easily found, use equivalent fractions to decide whether the ratios or rates are equivalent. So a human adult takes about 16 breaths in 60 seconds. So we have 16 breaths over 60 seconds. Oh, sorry, 16. And then a puppy takes eight breaths in 15 seconds. So we're going to set up right next to it. Now we have to get how to figure out if we need to here to here and here to here. To make 16 into 8, since it's smaller, I have to divide. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. And then we, if I make 60 into 15, I will be dividing by 4, because 15 times 4 is 60. These two numbers are not the same, so they are not equivalent. Now let's take a look at this last problem. It says Mrs. Jeffries has 12 girls out of 16 students. So we have 12 girls out of 16 students. The Earth Day Committee has four girls out of eight students. So we're going to set that right up so we can do equivalent fractions. Okay, we're going to go from this side to this side and this side to this side. Since we're going from 12 to 8, that's going from bigger to large, bigger to smaller, so we have to divide by 3. And then you get from 16 to 8, we have to divide by 2. Since this is to divide by 3 and divide by 2, they're different numbers, so they're not equivalent. If they were the same number, that would mean they are equivalent, but since they're not, we're not doing the same thing. And your work is your explanation. Okay, at this time, the sub will be passing out your worksheet. So make sure as I'm going over your worksheet that you are copying along. If it needs to be paused at this time, make sure that's happening so everyone can get ready to go. Okay, here's our worksheet. Make sure your name is at the top and your number. And so let's take a look at these first five. It says determine if each pair of ratios or rates are equivalent and then explain your reasoning. Remember in our case for explaining your reasoning, that's just your work. So I'm going to do the first one with you. It says 18 vocab words in two hours and then 27 vocab words in three hours. So I'm going to set up 18 over 2. So 18 vocab two hours. Because I know that two can go into 18 really easily, I'm going to do just divide by the bottom number. Because when I divide by the bottom number, I get one on the bottom. So 18 divided by two is nine vocab. And now let's set up the other one. We have 27 vocab over three hours. I'm going to do unit rate again on this one because 3 goes into 27. So 3 divided by 3 is 1 hour. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 
So it's, we have nine vocab for one hour and nine vocab for one hour. They're the same. So this one is equivalent. If you need two, write on a separate sheet of paper and transfer your answers over. That is fine. Okay. I'm going to highlight think, or underline important parts in your problem here. So you have $15 for five pairs. That would be one ratio that you set up. And then the next one would be 25 for 10. If I were you on this one, I would see to get from this side to this side. Make sure you are using your notes during this time to help you out. That's why you have notes. And remember, if it's the same number getting you from here to here, then that tells you. If you can't get from like you can't get from 15 to 25, that means it's probably not equivalent. Okay, the next one, make sure you're setting them up. It could be helpful to underline the things that you need to put in your problem. The first number goes on top, the second number goes on bottom. So this one, you have 15 minutes and 21 miles on one side, and then 25 minutes to 35 miles. Just try your best, and we'll be going over this when I get back. Okay, for exercises six through eight, refer to the table on lengths of some animals with long tails. So we're gonna determine if each pair of animals has the same ratio of body length to the tail length. So you're gonna find the brown rate rat. So we have, we're gonna do body length to tail length. So body length for the brown rat is 240. The tail length is 180. For the possum, we have 480 to 360. Okay, how do you get from here to here and here to here? If it's the same number, then your answer is equivalent. Make sure for these ones, you do hamster to lemming and then possum to prairie dog. When you are done, please turn it into your designated tray. And we will be going over this when I get back.